up YouTube? Poker vlog number one. We're gonna talk about yesterday's tournament. It was a $20 rebuy, one rebuy or add-on up in the local area by me, live tournament. <clears throat> Bought in for the $20, played a couple hands, pocket fours, got it in there, um, called a 15,000 uh, chip bet pre-flop board comes queen 10 7 rainbow then um we both check turn really good card for me very favorable a four i lead out for all in it is a turbo so a lot of all ends do get called why i didn't slow play it also didn't want him hitting it straight which he had a, a he showed ace jack for the open ender Actually, no, gut shot. He needed the king. <laughs> so I go all in. He folds, shows, I show. Scoop the pot. Next hand, I look down. Best hand in poker, pocket aces. I There's a guy at the table who... Um, I've played with him a lot. He's a reg player. Uh, he's in the category of poker is all luck and there's no skill. So I'm giving him a hard time about it. Kind of talking crap to him, saying poker is about skill. Then in the long run, if I get my aces versus your kings in there every time and I uh, get it all in, I'm going to be profitable over time. So, it's funny enough, next hand is aces. Uh, I make it, I was only going to make it three times the big blind, which was 1,000. So, I was going to make it like 6,000. It was, like, it was two, one, two, 1,000, 2,000 already. The blinds had already jumped. I was going to make it uh, 6,000, but he was talking crap, so I made it 15,000. Uh, player to my left, right before said lucky player that I'm talking about, who's actually not in the hand, um, raises to 35,000. I go all in for my stack. He calls. Board doesn't come out very hot for us. It comes out. Yeah, by the way, he has kings. I have aces, so it's a typical aces over kings. Flop comes. He gets an open ender. Turn comes. He hits his open ender. And the river does not help us at all. So we get deleted from this tournament. But luckily, it is a rebuy. So I do do my one rebuy. Um, I like to do a rebuy in that situation where if I'm aces versus kings... And I was the better hand and I got sucked out on. I like to do the rebuy then. If I uh, played bad, I don't like to do the rebuy because then I'm critical on myself and I play different. So I do the rebuy. Get that rebuy in. We're coasting along the tournament, folding all our crappy cards. We look down at... <clears throat> what was the next good hand? I'm going to start recording my cards. I just got to ask them if it's okay first. At this place I play at, it's a charity poker event in the Detroit metro area called Momo's Poker. Shout out to Momo's Poker if you guys are familiar. So I look down at, at this point, the blinds are starting to go up. They're like 7,000. I haven't played any hands. I look down at a hand. It's a preferable hand. I push. I get a call. I double up. Um, table breaks. We go to a new table. We got a nice little chip stack. Not too much, though. There's definitely higher chip stacks. Play at that table. Play pretty good poker. Then it turns into the final table because it is a turbo, so people are dropping really fast. Four places paid. There's 10 people at the final table. A couple of the top hands I wanted to go over with that. Um, there was a couple hands in there that... I didn't play any hands bad. Obviously, I got knocked out. There was a couple hands that I called all in at the previous table that I had a worse hand pre-flop, but, but one. One of the hands being um, from the first table, I wanted to talk about this one. Pocket twos opens up uh, for like 15,000. Player to my right calls. I push. Pocket twos call. Player to my right calls. So it's three-way to a flop all in. I show ace king, he shows ace king, other guy shows pocket twos. The flop comes, one jack on the board, not looking hot. 
The river is a queen. And the turn is the king for us to make Broadway. We make Broadway on the river, runner, runner, nothing funner. Then uh, we, we chop the pot. I say to him, bye with them twos in kind of a rude fashion, which I apologize for later on. Never really gotten rude for sucking out on somebody, but that was something new. I was just kind of pissed off that he was in there with his twos, thinking that's a premium hand. This guy did bubble at the end also as well. I shook his hand, said fun playing with you, see you soon. Bubbled. Um, so that's an interesting hand. I have ace two. I, I go all in with a short stack, get called by ace seven, I believe, or maybe ace ten, something. Not ace king or queen or anything like that. Board comes blank, turn comes blank, rivers the deuce to keep me alive. So that was very nice. I was on my way out. I had a short stack. The blinds were huge. I had to steal a pot. I stole that pot. So back to the final table. Also, there was a pocket tens hand. And I don't really play pocket tens too premium. But the player to my left was talking about how that's his favorite hand. So I go all in with tens, get a call with eights and sixes, knock two people out, triple up. It's a wonderful feeling. So we're at the final table. There's 10 people left. We're the short stack at the final. Not scared, though. The blinds are high relative to the chip stack. So all we need is like one or two double ups when we're in there. Blinds are going up fast. At this point, the blinds are... Uh, the big blind is 35,000. 30,000, 1530, 30, I think. I was about to be the big blind before the table broke to the final table, come back, and then we set up the final, pick the button, it's one place away from me, so I'm the big blind next. Don't get a good hand, fold, big blind comes, I think I fold my big blind and my small blind, get on the button, have a pushable hand, push, everybody folds. Okay, so we're, a couple people getting knocked out now, we're getting close to the final Final four, we're down to six players. I make a couple moves, double up, stay alive. Two players go out at once at the same time. Both bubbles go out. We decided that, that since there were six players left, we're gonna take 50 bucks off first and second. Give that to the two players that wanna go out now because that's the best way to get people to go out is tell them they're about to make some money then they make plays they wouldn't normally play. They play a lot better if there's no bubble. So we give them the bubble, two, both bubbles go out. We go from $50 profit to $74 profit within one hand. <clears throat> okay, so we're playing. Same guys uh, still there. We got player to my left, who is a pretty solid player. So it's just down to th three people now. We know one person goes out. The, like I said, the guy that was in uh, sitting next to me and the pocket twos guy goes out. I think he goes out in fourth so there's three players left a guy that we were outside on break we smoked it we were smoking out a blunt i go out there i say hey we're gonna chop this boy three ways right joking around so this guy is at the final table with us right now he is playing good he's a solid player i've played with him before a lot of regulars i play with i really haven't played with the homeboy to my left which is good because he has no idea how i play i play a pretty solid uh, short stacked, solid, um, short handed game. It was three handed, so you know, small blind, big blind button. Money is getting in that pot really fast. It's also a turbo, so blinds are like 150,000. I double up through him. A7, he calls with king nine. Uh, that holds up with the ace, hits his king. I hit my ace on the turn, double up. I double up through him again. Before I do all those doubles up, I ask him, hey, you want to chop it? You know, anything can happen. Uh, there's like two, 300 bucks a pop each. He says no because he has a relatively big stack. So I'm like, okay, cool. Time to time to gun at this guy. So every time it would be my small blind and I have a semi-decent hand. I'm pushing on him. He's calling. I'm doubling up. We keep playing. We keep playing. Three of us were really solid players. So we get to the end of it. And... Uh, you know, it's I'm about to be the button. He's small. He's big. I say, you want to you want to try this three way chop again? He looks at my stack. It's a lot larger now than it is after he's doubled me up twice, plus the blinds. So I'm sitting at almost a million chips. He says yes. We go get the money. None of us can count. We chop it up. We each get two eighty. Give the rest to the dealer. 
which we should have all got 293. So the dealer got a nice little 45 bucks for his troubles on the two four o'clock early day tournament. They do a four o'clock tournament on Sunday. It's a twenty dollar turbo rebuy. Really solid game. Like I said, I don't have the uh, the whole cards yet. I don't have access to recording, so I just have to like go through it with my head. But I, if there's anything that you guys, from what I've said, that you guys think any critiques or anything like that, I'm open to hear it. Um, guys, just keep your game up. Keep studying. Keep reading. Keep learning. Keep applying what you learn. Because when you apply what you learn, that's called knowledge. When you just learn it, that's just that's just learning something. But when you apply it, that's knowledge. So I appreciate you guys. Make sure you subscribe. More vlogs to come.